aspect of that for you? Oh, I thought it was a really strong performance by the boys. I, I liked the way we were challenged again. And then um, GWS, really good side who have got um, you know plenty to play for. I think we've been asked a few times in the last couple of weeks to um, respond again. And we've been able to do that. You know, we had a pretty dominant game when it comes to the numbers and the stats. And I know there's significant improvement still in us with the players that we're starting to get back in the team. Yeah, that's a sign of a good team. I think you're always going to get challenged in AFL football and, um, you know, there's not very many games you just get to get it on your own terms the whole way through a match. And for us tonight, again, it's great It's great for us to be put under that pressure and we have to respond in different ways and tonight we're able to respond and get the ball back in our front and, um, you know, able to kick a score. Was it another tick for your, um, your, your five tall strategy? Well, again, I think the... Um, I think the tall boys maybe kick 10 between them, I think. Four, three, two, well, I think that's about right, 10. Somewhere close. So that it's, when they keep hitting the scoreboards, it's very hard to leave them out of the, the, the team. And, you know, again, though, we had a lot of opportunities in our front half tonight. And when they're doing stuff like, like Charlie and, and, and off, off the ground, it, it's, um, yeah, that certainly helps, uh, helps with, with the strategy. Yeah, well, I think all of them, I think all of them, um, you know, all of the, the tall boys can play at ground level really well. I've always said that about certainly Todd and Mitch have got some real speed at ground level and Charlie's always been a player on, when the ball's on the floor that he's dangerous. And, you know, Pete, we, we know Pete's athletic traits are really special and uh, when the ball's on the floor, sometimes he, he gets the ball a little bit too much for a big fella, but um, tonight he would manage to kick three, so it's nice. No, 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 no. Look, everyone's dealing with rearranged schedules. Everyone's dealing with lots of things. You know, we, it's, it's a challenging season again that we're all dealing with. Um, but every side's adapting really well. I give credit to the, to the whole competition on the way they're adapting. And no one's, no one's sitting in front of anyone and saying that, look, we can't get things done. We'll just get them done. And, you know, they're a challenge. But we keep, we keep um, turning up for those challenges every side in the comp. Yeah, I only know one thing, and that is we're going to Adelaide in the morning at 8 o'clock, so I'm looking forward to that, that flight, and the boys will be looking forward to that flight now. I know we've had a good time here together, and you know we've enjoyed the opportunity to be together, but uh, you know we all do, we always will, and we should always miss your family and your friends, and uh, you know, it'll be nice to be home. Yeah, I think we're playing some good footy, and uh, you know, but to win big, you've got to play great footy, and I think we're playing some good footy, and we're getting better. I said I'm really, really pleased about our last couple of weeks. I think they've been really significant for us, and as I said, when the the personnel keep coming back, um, that certainly gives me confidence that we can get to great. I said that you know, you're right. I did say that about I reckon about round ten or twelve, and I said let's wait till we get to the end of round twenty three, see where we finish, see what happens, and um, I know we'll be playing better football by the end of the year if we keep getting people back. I guess. Yeah, I think that's we've earned our spot in the ladder. We've played well over the course of the year, and um, you know we haven't always got it right. Not many teams have probably played it right all year, but uh, and we've dealt with some adversity again, like everyone. We've had um, you know, 15 surgeries through our football season, it's a remarkable number, but we're in a pretty strong position now. But we've got to maximise that, and we see the competition. I say this every time I speak. I think um, you're never sure any game you go into about the outcome, and you've just got to turn up and play well for four quarters as much as you can. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think our front half is damaging and, and more damaging with those players in the side. You know, we've got Robbie Gray coming back. Um, we've got Stephen Motlock not too far away as well. So I think we've got some, um, you know, we've got some personnel to, to fit in there still that, that can even make us more damaging. But game time is really critical at this time of the year. So, you know, you've got to get your run right. You've got to get your timing right. And sometimes it's out of your control. Yeah, I didn't think any one of them didn't get better as the game went on. I thought they all got better as the game went on. I thought they all were significant for us. Um, you know, as we know, they're, they're pretty talented young players. Um, they all bring different parts of their game to us. 
uh, I do know that we just we just more, much better side when they're in the team with all together. And Carl Amon's another player who maybe uh, flies under the radar a little bit compared to the others that I just mentioned, but um, he looked like he had another important game for you, and, and he's been in great form the past few weeks. Yeah, he has. Um, I'm not sure he can fly under the radar. I don't think he can do that anymore, Carl. He's um, had an outstanding season. There's been enough people talk about Carl quite a lot. You know whether he's um, you know, he's in you know the, the, the all Australian type form that, that people get into. Um, earn a position in the squad on that side. Uh, he, he's had an outstanding, not just a year, a couple of years, and probably building on three years, to be fair. He's grown as a footballer, he's got better every year. Uh, he works so hard at his game, he deserves everything he gets. Oh, well, one, we're getting the game that we like, and that is that we've been able to play the game in our half, and I think when you can do that more often than not, you know, it makes it a real challenge for the opposition to kick a winning score and, and we've been a really good defensive team and I think that sometimes can look a little bit strange because on some of the plays that come out of your forward half sometimes quickly it can look open and it can look wide open but what we believe is that we don't give up enough of those opportunities that we should go away from trying to play that strong front of centre footy. I think Pete's been pretty solid whenever he's played in our, in our AFL team. He's, he's a young, emerging ruck who can play forward. He's getting better in his forward craft, which is, he knows that's the critical piece for him to, at the moment, with Scott playing in the side as a number one ruck, Pete knows he's got to be able to influence on the scoreboard. He, like all our players, they spend a lot of time working on their game and working on their craft, and uh, you know, he's getting some rewards at the moment. And uh, you know, our challenge is to make sure we keep getting rewards. No, nah, not, not really. You can't, you can't keep saying too much about Trav other than he deserves everything he's getting. Um, you know, he's, you know he's, he's gone past Kane now as a club record holder in games played at AFL level. The number won't be just broken, it'll be smashed. That, that's what probably is the best thing I can say about Trav. He's not going to just play 302 or 303. He's, he's probably on track with the way he's going to play somewhere close to 350 and above, I'd imagine. But who knows? Footy's a hard game. Yeah, I love playing with him. He's just a great person. I mean, there's been enough, as you said, over the last couple of weeks, Trav's got all the, all the credits he deserves because of the way he's lived his life. He's a great person. And when you're like that, people want to see you do well and, and good on him and well done to Trav. Yeah, you've obviously got bigger fish to fry, but a really big um, showdown this week, uh, 50th. How, how do you approach that? Oh, unlike every other game, and we understand the importance of showdowns in, in South Australia. It's, just, it's great that we're going to be back in... Adelaide to play it, we, um, you know, we've got a real challenge on our hands. Um, we know how tough and hard showdowns are every time you play them. Um, we look forward to another opportunity to play in a showdown uh, against our rival and we'll be doing everything we absolutely can to make sure we, um, we win. Do you have any clarity on, on crowds or, or otherwise? No, 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 that's not my, not my role. I'll leave that to the people above and uh, the management of our footy club is in first, uh, first class hands. So. They'll let us know on all the things, as, as they've done over the last, you know, you can imagine what the last two or three days have been like. Your, your updates seem to come in at, at almost hourly intervals about what's next and what's happening. So I, I try not to get to spend too much time in that. My job is to um, focus on the footy and the football club and the football players and make sure they're ready to play. Nah, no, look, you always, it doesn't matter whether it's Charlie, I do that every time we do. I mean, and, and the results that we've had this year with some of those injuries would suggest I've got a, a fair right to be a little bit nervous. But um, no, I don't, I don't get any more nervous about him or anyone else. So, you know, I don't want any of my players to get hurt. I don't want any player in the, gr in the ground to get hurt. But, um, you know, you, you know injuries are a part of the game we play. Yeah, I think so. I think we've, um, you know, we've played really consistent footy for a, a good stretch of time. Not not just for a year. I think we've been really, really consistent. You know, we something like twenty eight and seven or twenty eight and eight or something in our last thirty odd games. We we play pretty consistent footy. Yeah, we get beat, but the competition beats you. And, and it just so happens this year the teams that have been above us on the ladder have beaten us. But um, 
you know, we've, I've said this before, we've been in all those games, bar perhaps one or two of them that we've just been beaten up, but that happens at every level, um, you know, sorry, in every round this year. You see it again and again. I, I don't get lost in, and people say oh, I'm getting defensive. I don't get defensive at all. I just know the reality of AFL football. You're going to get beat sometimes. If you win more than often, you end up in a pretty good spot.